me my motherfucking car and my motherfucking food. Don't just slam the motherfucking window, bitch. You tell me, have a nice day. You know, enjoy some. I want you to know that girl. You Good morning, y'all. I know my hair looks a mess, honey. I didn't just get out of bed. I'm currently working. Something's going on with my system, so I can't do <clears throat> what I'm normally doing. But anyway, <clears throat> um. I just wanted to come on here real quick just to tell y'all happy Memorial Day. Anyway, so I wanted to show y'all my apartment. So my couch, my pissy couch is gone, honey. I don't know if I've said that already. Um, also, Wavy's gone. Woo! I don't have another dog. Um, I cleaned my carpet the other day. I think that was on saturday yeah it was saturday night i cleaned my carpet i gotta actually clean a few more spots and i'm gonna do the dining room but i wanted to get at least the living room oh yeah but um let me go ahead and show y'all real quick so as you can see like it's a spot right there i need to get i didn't do it over here yet because i didn't think it was no spots but i did do it over here and as you can see it's clean Anyway, so this is my living room without anything in it. I'm going to put the couch back over there. Um, yeah, so. Oh, so my friend just took four cases of water out. Um, the dudes that got the couch, they took two cases. So we are down to one, two, three. Four, I mean, five cases right here, really. It's a few water bottles in that top case, but I'm going to just put those in the refrigerator. Um, but yeah, we're down to five cases right here. So that means in total, we only have 11. But yeah, y'all, so I'm, um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but oh, I'm going to um, reorganize my storage closet because that thing got so much stuff in it. So I'm going to take the stuff out um, probably this weekend if I have time. I know I'm trying to do some overtime and then um, I might be doing something with D'Angela Thursday, Friday. We got to go get our hair done, do some overtime and then um, Saturday I'm going to Raleigh and I got my class. So it's a pretty busy weekend so y'all going to get to see a lot this weekend. Hopefully I can close out this vlog. Um before the weekend that weekend starts or either i can close it out on thursday that's what i'm hoping because i'm doing really good y'all like i got a couple vlogs waiting to go up now i'm about to edit this other one for and that's for sunday yeah this one will be for sunday that i'm editing now because it's monday now so i'm posting twice a week so make sure to catch up Good morning, y'all. So, it is Wednesday, my last day at work this week, and I'm up at 7.30. It's 7.35. I could not really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind um, that I wanted to remember, so <laughs> mm, I couldn't really sleep after four or something. So, I kind of took a little cat nap. Then the people called me about delivering my furniture. Um, the window was from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And they delivered it like 10 minutes ago. So we have our new sectional. Yay. All right. So I'm about to attempt to try to see what I can do or see what type of parts is in them. See where the directions are. Um, we going to see. I think... Um, Asher, get away from the boxes, please. I think that my soon-to-be boyfriend, I think I've been calling, I don't know, D'Angelo calls him boyfriend, so I think boyfriend is going to come over and help me. He was supposed to be coming over after he dropped his kid off <clears throat> at school. We'll see. I'm not too pressed on it, but I know he will come over to help me, but, um... 
I'm just about to try to put it together a little bit or see what I can do. Because I kind of want to take a nap before I go to work. And that's at 10.30. I'm going to go in and get a little bit of overtime. But I'm also trying to see if I can go back to being a medical assistant. Ooh, do I have... I just washed my face. Yeah, it's always looking like something in the corner of my mouth, but whatever. But, yeah, so I'm thinking about picking up overtime as a medical assistant at Urgent Cares. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll let y'all know. So I finished putting the couch together. I'm sure y'all just saw the thing. If my wig slid back, it, it is what it is. I just threw it on for the delivery people. But anyway, so this is the couch right here. I don't know already, y'all. I mean, this is how it looks in here, but... I don't know already because y'all see that little part right there? That little dent right there? Child, he was just sitting right here. And for it to already be like that, I'm kind of like, uh. Mm. But, yeah, that's the couch. I like it though. It's cute for like a little small space. You know? Hey y'all. So it is Thursday, my first day off <laughs> from my normal schedule. Today's plan is I'm gonna be working y'all. So I'm about to go door dashing for a few hours. It is currently about five minutes till eight. I was going to do my job, like my overtime at work from 8 to 1, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that for six hours straight. So what I'm going to do is busy right now on DoorDash. I'm going to go out DoorDash for breakfast. I'm going to DoorDash probably about two to three hours, and then I'm going to come home by 11, work 11 to um, 2 um, over time and then I'm gonna go back out as long as it's busy I'm gonna go back out or either I'm gonna do 11 to 5 or 6 because that's when it start to get busy for dinner and then I'm gonna go out from like probably 5 or 6 to 9 to DoorDash hopefully we can make about a hundred dollars today on DoorDash at minimum at minimum in reality I need to make about I want to make about 150 so we'll just see how it goes. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to bring y'all with me to DoorDash a little bit. All right, y'all. So we received our first order, which is a Taco Bell order. Um, I'm not going to show y'all the... Um, I ain't going to show it to y'all. I was going to show it to y'all, but... Y'all already accepted it and um it got the person's name information on here so i ain't gonna show nothing but it's only a six dollar and fifty cent order but the mileage was only three miles um when i do orders like i haven't door dashed in like a year but when i used to do orders i wouldn't take anything that's under if it's under five dollars i would not accept it i would not accept it unless it was under I think I used to do under two miles three miles if it's a five dollar order or more I will accept like three miles four miles I'm not accepting anything under five miles I mean anything under five dollars if it's not like under two miles like a three dollar order 
Mm -mm. Especially if I know if it's, it's a restaurant that takes forever. Like McDonald's, for instance. Mm. But let me go pick this order up. Hold while we retrieve so, the details. DoorDash already got me pissed off. So I get to Taco Bell. I go in. He's talking about he had canceled the order because they the didn't have the stuff. Press one. So the now closed, I'm on the phone with two. them. If the quality assurance it didn't cancel the order on my your screen. Your continued participation in this session will be considered as express consent to be monitored or recorded. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief sir, survey. Sir, shut the fuck up. Apologies. We're experiencing so, an issue and have longer than expected wait times on the phone. That's fine. Please use self-help for instant support. <laughs> Okay, so pro tip: if this happens, if anything, uh -huh. hi, um, my name is Doc. Sorry, I kept getting interrupted, and I'm probably about to get interrupted again. So I'm gonna just say this real fast. Pro tip: if you are door dashing and they don't have something in the, on the order, or they the, they cancel the order. The patient or the patient, Lord, I'm still at work. The client or customer is wanting to cancel the order. Do not click. Can't do this order no call support click support and call them and have them cancel the order okay hello reason man is one so won't nobody else get the damn order that shit is annoying because it could have been that i'm the second person that then came in this bitch but i don't think so i don't think so because he usually the employees will say you the second third person that came up here so they stupid if they've come up here and just click can't do this order and did that little part. You're stupid if you do that. Because if you call them and tell them, oh, they canceled the order or the customer canceled the order, whatever. What they're going to do is call the customer, confirm, or call the location, confirm, or either tell the um, call the customer and let them know. And then they'll cancel the order that way. And you will get half of what you were supposed to make on that order. Okay. So make sure you do that because I used to have to do that a lot when I was DoorDash. And I would always, I would get free money pretty much because I ain't do shit. Honestly, this is right across the street from my damn apartment. I didn't even, I was going some to another area and I got this order. Yes, yeah. pretty much. They um paid me for half of what I was supposed to get. I told y'all it was six fifty, so I'll get three twenty five. Yeah, that's not a lot. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still time that was wasted, and I still got a little pay. And I wasn't even here that long. Like it wasn't like I went anywhere or whatever. Like I literally pulled out my damn um apartment complex and came across the street, literally. Um, so, and it was on the way to where I was going. So, yeah. You could put a blinker on, sir. Um, but yeah, that's just a little pro tip, you know, because if the orders is bigger than that, it could have been a $20 order, and I would have got $10 for not doing shit. So, that's all I'm saying. Call support if you ever have a problem. I've even had a problem to where I've went picked the food up and the address was incorrect they paid me on mileage they paid me like 15 extra dollars on that order for me going to the wrong location it wasn't that far away child it was literally like down the highway an exit away <clears throat> probably about six minutes away from where i was at <clears throat> so <clears throat> call them if you ever have any problems like that the address wrong um the customer changing the address yeah call them people I'm telling y'all, nine times out of ten, you're going to get paid more than what you um, was going to get paid if you didn't do the order or if you did the order, you was gonna, you're going to get paid more. So, yeah, that's just a little pro tip. But I'm about to go ahead and drive to North Lake and because um, they were busy, very busy. They have a few breakfast places over there. So, hopefully I can get a few orders. I said a hundred dollars child I don't see that I, don't, I mean like I'm, I want to claim it but I just don't see it like I know how DoorDash work generally I've never even worked on a Thursday morning because I used to when I was doing DoorDash I worked Monday through Friday so I would only work half I mean in in the evening which would be 
like five to nine during the week. And then um, on Saturday, I will work all day. But child, it's just a Thursday. But I ain't gonna waste my gas either now. It is more ways to skin a cat. Okay. <laughs> more than one way to skin a cat. So, baby, if I gotta figure out another way to make this coin up, because y'all, so I got a lot going on. This, oh, shit. I got an order. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I got, ooh, ooh. Except we got two orders. We got a $12.50 order. Um, one is to go to 7 Eleven, which is right here, literally. And um, then Bob Evans, which is right here as well. <laughs> So we got a $12.50 order. It should be going to the same place usually. Um, it'll ask them if they want a 7-Eleven um, to order. I just know that from ordering. <laughs> but yeah, let me get to it. So I wanted to shoot back to y'all. I just picked up the 7-Eleven um, order. What the hell? Why the fuck this so tight right here? Um... What the hell? Why I got that real right there? But another pro tip real quick. <clears throat> know your city. Can I go that way? Know your city. If you know your city, don't let DoorDash take you all around the world to get to a spot you see is right there clearly and you know how to get there. Like, don't let them do that. They was trying to take me a whole six more minutes to go get to this 7-Eleven that was, I told y'all, was right here. Right here. Right off the road. I know where 7-Eleven is, and I know it ain't no 7-Eleven any further down. And if it, it is, it's all the way down. Like, it's not... No, they were trying to take me in a whole circle. So, that's just a little pro tip. Let me see if it's a way for me to get to this restaurant this other way. Because I think it is, but for some reason, I just don't want to go that way. Order. Thank you. Um, I'm already going this way now. Shit, fuck it. But, um, yeah. Don't let, don't. My tip is don't use damn DoorDash GPS. Do not use DoorDash GPS. I don't like using that GPS. It's like through Google, I believe. That's what it looked like. And it's just stupid as fuck. Like, seriously. It's stupid as fuck. Don't use it. Um, Just use your regular GPS. I'm telling you. <laughs> Take the address, put it in your regular GPS. Unless you know how to get there from where you at. Um yeah only part i say to use their gps is when you only use their gps is when you go into the um the customer's house i say use their gps for that unless you know where that is unless you see you using it and you know a better way to get there or whatever the case but if it's a restaurant, use your mind because I'm sure you know where it's at at this point where you live at, unless you're new to the city. If you're new to the city, use maps. I mean, not maps. Um, yeah, maps. Ain't that what it is on um, iPhones? If you got an iPhone, use maps. Use Waze. One of those. All right, let me stop rambling. I'm almost to get this. I'm almost there to get the um, food part of the order. Good morning, y'all. So, today is Friday. It's a little bit of a self-care day. Um, I'm going to get my toenail fixed because one of my fake toenails broke. And um, I wanted to get my nails cut down, um, rounded off, probably almond shape, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to just wait since I'll be ready for a fill-in next week. So, um, I'm going to do that next week. I have my hair appointment. I'm getting a ponytail with a, braid, a braided ponytail. Not a braided up ponytail, but a slick ponytail with the um, braid at the end. So, um, this is my hair. I just blew, out, blew it out. Child. 
I hate doing my hair, but actually today it wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know why, but it just, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's probably because I'm not flat earning it. She's flat earning it. So maybe that's why I'm like, okay, cool. It ain't take that long because I ain't do the whole thing. But yeah, this is her here. Okay, she down to the nip nip. I got some thick ass hair, like some really thick ass hair. Like I, oh my gosh, it's so thick. Uh, but that's okay. I like you. I don't like. Well, I like it, but I don't really like dealing with my hair. That's why y'all never see it out. I don't like dealing with it. Um. Yeah, so hopefully this is blown out enough for her. I can't get it no straight straighter without flat earning myself and um flat earning it myself and um putting product on it. She don't want no product on it. That's fine. It's straight. I mean it's um blown out and it's nap free, tangle free. So hopefully that'll be good enough. But um, I might just, I might see y'all when I get to the nail salon. I don't know. I'm just getting one toe nail fix, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm hungry. I gotta go get some food. Too. What's up, y'all? So, I just left the nail salon. I just got me some Bojangles. They ain't put no seasoning on this damn fry. Lady at the window, I call she ain't got no damn home training, no type of manners. Uh, bitch, when you hear me my motherfucking car... And my motherfucking food. Don't just slam the motherfucking window, bitch. You tell me, have a nice day. You know, enjoy some. You know, you could have said, bitch, fuck you all. I care. I don't. That's fine. Say something. That was perfect. But y'all, my thing with people that work in fast food. If that is not something you want to do, don't do it. Please. Don't do it. Ain't nobody begging you to work here. I mean, like, that's why... Those type of jobs are more for, like, drive through person at the drive through window, person at the front desk, from um, the um, front station. That type of shit is for people that's kids. They got they're easily trained. To be able to have manners. To be able to be trained to have manners. Them other people need to be in the bag. If you older, you need to work your ass on that rap station. Biscuits. Chicken. Bitch, do something besides customer service with people. You don't need to be doing that. I'm an ex-employee of Bojangles. I worked there when I was 17 or 18. I took pride in how my shit was ran. up y'all so i wanted to get y'all a before you know child it really seemed like my um hair ain't blown out no more but it is what it is i think we could just brush it and flat on it child but this is the before and now we got the after what's up y'all i'm back and it's raining out motherfucking side but i'm back and i'm cute it felt so nice to eat my hair done, y'all, for real, for real. 
but I'm about to drive the hell home in this rain. It had to be raining today. I get my fucking hair done. But I'm about to drive home, so I'm gonna see y'all later. What's up, y'all? So I am back home. I've got the sideburns honey curled for the girls. Okay, she did her thing. She got this thing slick, honey. That thing slick. Got my booty tail. Honey, for the girls. <laughs> I'm just so happy, y'all. I'm really like, this is what it means for you to do self-care. Like, take care of yourself. Just, look, I gotta fix that because that's gonna piss me off, though. Y'all, and my my hair always do, does that for some reason. Like, that little, every time I try to do a ponytail, it does that, and it's irritating as fuck. But anyway, um... Yeah, what was I about to say? I'm really going to start getting my hair done at least once a month. And I'm going to start back going to get my lashes done. Those are the two things that I'm going to add to my routine. I've been getting my nails and toes done faithfully for the past, since December. I think I had my nails off just for a few weeks this year. Um, but other than that, I've been faithfully going to get my nails and toes done. So I'm going to just keep that up as well as adding back in my lashes. I don't know if I'm going to go to the same girl because every time I go to her now, for some reason, my fucking eyes start to hurt. And it's like I end up plucking all the lashes off and she upped her prices. So I'm not about to be um, paying even more for me to take them off in a few days. So, um, I may go to her again. If I do, I'll bring my own glue. It's the sensitive glue that she said to get. So, I'll do that. Or either I'm going to go to this girl that I've been wanting to go to for a while. Her name Jay. Um, in Charlotte. I'll, when I go, I'll take y'all and then I'll tell y'all her information and stuff like that. But she does lashes really good. But she do charge $200 for like the first set. And then after that i think it's like 130 to get fill-ins for what i want which isn't bad because the girl that i go to now or I, that i was going to she charges not 200 for the first set but she charges i think like 140 now so but yeah i'm just gonna start really pampering myself i'm gonna start getting massages again i'm gonna try to go get the um bbl massage maintenance package um soon but i'll keep y'all up dated on that and i'm about to get to work because i'm doing some overtime now i just clocked in so i'm about to get to this bag just want to give y'all a quick update